What is one cost-effective and yet quality way for you to generate more leads? And the answer is referral. Hi, my name is Wesley Chan. I'm a sales breakthrough coach and a three times TEDx speaker. One of the biggest challenges faced by a lot of salespeople like you is that you fail to leverage on your existing customers for you to get more referrals. And here in this video, I will share with you the top three common mistakes that I would like you to avoid so that you can leverage on your existing clients for you to generate more leads by getting more referrals. Number one, not being specific to a specific client avatar. So what do I mean? If you're just being general by asking your prospect to recommend a friend to you, they may not be very sure on who they can refer to you. So instead, be specific and describe a specific client avatar on a certain profile whom you want to reach out to. Example, who are these people? What's their age group? What do they do? Where are they from? So that you can paint a clearer picture of a specific group of people whom you want to reach out to. Number two, not being referable. So what I mean by not being referable, the two important elements in getting business referrals are based on the values that you provide and the relationship that you create. If you are always employing high pressure closing tactics, your clients may not want to recommend their friends to you because they may not want to have the same experience that they've been through and they don't want their friends to have actually had the same experience just like them. And also very important, what kind of experience and relationship do you create with your customers? If you're very pleasant in your personality, if you're very approachable, and if you're very friendly, chances are they will refer their friends to you. And also very important, what kind of service and values do you provide that others don't so that you stand out compared to the rest of your peers and the rest of your competitors. Number three, suggesting and not asking. So what I mean by this, if you're just telling your customers to pass your name card to their friends during dinner, chances are they may not do that. You need to be in charge, you need to be responsible and to take ownership of the referral taking process. In this manner, you need to educate your customers on how they can introduce you to their friends. What do they need to tell their friends to introduce you into that kind of conversation? You need to get back with your customers maybe in one week's time or two weeks time so that you can ask them on the progress of the referral. You need to be in charge and you need to be responsible in the referral taking process. And here are three common mistakes which I want you to avoid so that you can have a breakthrough in your sales and business. And I hope this helps. And with that, thank you. Signing off, Wesley Chan.